This is Code.org, and we have this awesome animation happening, but we want this to happen. Let's see. Sprite interactions. You've now seen four different types of sprite interactions. Ooh, you'll need them all for this challenge. Awesome. Sorry, I just can't. Oh, yeah, ours just passed over. Okay. For each pair of animals, choose the sprite interaction that matches the target image on the right. Okay. And so, oh, yeah. Keep in mind, our interactions are these things, right? Bounce, bounce off, collide, displays. And all of them have more info if I hover and click see examples right here. And all of them have a conditional kind of built inside of it, right? So you can think of it as asking a question. And what is it asking? Well, if the sprite is touching the target, it will then bounce. So the condition is touching and then the result uh, is the bounce. All right. So now we need the giraffe. Oh, wow. They didn't give us anything. All right. So... It looks like bounce off for the draft because the draft is going towards the left. And we might be wrong and we can test it out from there. That's fine. Now, we don't have a sprite. We have something named snake. Wow, we have a lot of things. Yep, giraffe right here. So that's what I'm going to say. Now, who bounces off of who? Does the draft bounce off something? Yes. Nope. It looks like they both bounce on that one. So actually, I'm going to need... Which one has bounce off? Oh, I think the snake bounces off. I'm going to use snake and pig. Because it's the first one I picked. Let's test. Boom. And that looks like theirs, right? The snake bounces off the pig. Now let's do bounce for the first one because it looks like they both go opposite direction. And now I'll do the word giraffe and then the target will be parrot. For this one, the target doesn't matter because they're both doing the same thing. However, if I flip snake and pig, then the pig would go off and the snake would stay there. All right, we got those. Now what should be collide? Hmm. Okay. So remember collide. Well, we can test and see what it looks like. You can also hover over collide and click see example. And here we are. I can even click on that. So collide, neither of them move. All right. So now if neither of them are moving, hmm, do we need that one? We could need it, but let's first try displace. All right. I'm going to displace the hippo with uh, the elephant and let's see what happens. Okay, so the hippo is pushing the elephant. Yep, that looks good. And that's only because the hippo right here is gonna be what displaces the elephant. Now I'm gonna use displace again right here, except this time let's give it a shot for the rabbit and the monkey. And I hope you're screaming no at your computer. Because notice the rabbit's going to push the monkey off the screen, and that's because the rabbit has the power here. We're asking, hey, is the rabbit touching the monkey? The rabbit will then displace, will move the monkey. So we need to flip these, I believe. And let's try. Pretty cool. Let's double check. Boom, 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 bye-bye. Boom, 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 bye-bye. Ta-da! Tricky. Cool. I'm so excited to see all the games we make with our new blocks. Always remember, though, you can hover and click see examples. Let's keep going. 